Hello, once again, welcome to Agiotech. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use micro within Excel. So, what are macros and how relevant it is within Excel? So, micro allows you to automate tasks. So, anytime you have repeated tasks that you've been doing more often, you can create a micro that allows you to automate that task. So, you could see that I have this record first name, last name, and the sales. So I want to use create a micro that can easily format this data. So let's assume this is the data I'm receiving, and I always want to break it down into something like this first name, last name, and then it is so below two hundred dollars. I automatically highlight it. Okay, maybe I want to set up a micro to do that. Every day that I have a data, I can call on that micro to automatically format this data into this particular format for me. So we're going to create micro to do that. So let's use this data for example. We only break this down doing that. Remember, you may not see micro within any of your tab. In order for you to have access to micro and use, you need to enable it, and it's under the developer option. So you have to right click on your ribbon, go to custom ribbon, and then you have to what enable micro developer. When you enable developer, you have access to micro. So within my developer tab now, I have my developer, you can see we have a record micro and then micros. So this micro shows that I've already recorded some. When you click on you have some recorded, it will show over there. Let me delete the one I recorded previously and I want to create a different one within a short moment. So we have this source and I want to break this down into what? First name, last name. And I will highlight source below what? $200. Okay, let's say assuming it's in dollars. want to highlight that so what we need to do now is to go to record micro and then we have to give that micro a name so remember micro names shouldn't be there shouldn't be space between them you can use another score to join them so if you want to use more than a name you have to make sure that you use another score so i'll say format data because i'm going to use more than one i say format data this way so i've set up my micro and to see what stop recording that means it's recording and I'm going to break this down into what? First name, and then I want a last name. I'll create another tab here, and then I'll call this place what? Last name. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to try to separate this, and they have, they do the last name to appear within this last name column. To do that, I'll go to my data tab, and I'll go to a text column, click on that. Sorry, I'll highlight my text first. What I want to separate, go to text to column and then make sure delimited is selected. Go to next and make sure I've checked what space. Go to next again and then what finish. And this is automatically going to break it down into what first and the last name for me. Then I will now come to my source and then use the conditional formatting. I'll go to my home tab, go to conditional formatting, and I'll go to what highlight source rule and I'll go to less than. And this one I want in this source below 200. In this will below 200. To be highlighted okay so when i click like i click ok everything has been set for us so we have our micro setup for this if i go to develop i cannot stop my micro now okay so we have this and we can now use this on this particular data i will first want to keep a copy of this and then use another example for that so i'm going to paste this one here let me just zoom in So I'm going to use my macro on this for you to see how this is automatically going to format this all for us. So we have this, and for us to be able to format this, I just have to go to micro and what this is the micro I've created. So when I click on run, you could see that this automatically has been formatted using a micro for us, which is very, very amazing. So anytime we get a data in this format, we click on our micro, it will automatically format this for us. I'll go to I have another data here which I'm going to format. This one. I can easily add a button, a button that when you click automatically format this data for me, I'm going to add a button. So you can go to insert, select a button, I can draw a button down here and then select what format. I'll click on that and then I'll give you a button a name, I can see what. I can call this button format data. So this is the name of my button. So anytime I click on this button, this data will automatically be formatted because I've linked it to the micro. 
when I click on this button, you can see that everything has been formatted in that order form. So basically, this is one of the useful way in which you can automate tasks. Anytime you have this data, you can use micro to format this. So remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime you upload a new content. So in this short tutorial, I've showed you how you can use micro to automate a particular task to format data as easy as possible. So this is actually going to help you in a very unique way to format data using Excel. So I come your way another time. Remember to subscribe, like this video, and share with friends. Bye-bye.